well. Oh my gosh. This is our final segment of episode six on season two, and it's called The Torch. And today I'd actually like to share a very personal story with you. It's actually my story. So in August 2021, as I turned 50, I was diagnosed with a disease called lipedema. Not many people know this disease and lipedema affects 11 out of 100 women, which is quite a large number and a percentage and it goes undiagnosed. I suffered with this disease for 30 years of my life and I didn't know that I had it. So I was one of those people that would go to the beach in summer wearing long leggings and pants and covering up my large legs and these chunks of what I thought were cellulite. I was that woman that would go to all the dance classes with my girlfriends and do the Zumba and walk the 10 kilometres with them early morning, eat everything right. I was not a junk food person. And I would watch my girlfriends drop weight like that and tone up and look fabulous. And I would turn up back in the Lycra gym gear with these big chunks that sat off my legs. And I didn't know why. I had personal trainers that would work with me and, and say to me, Sha, just try harder. You're not trying hard enough. And I would get soul destroyed every time I walked into a change room and tried on a pair of pants because I would turn and do the whole look in the mirror at the butt and the legs and there it was. And I didn't know what to do and I thought it's just me. I'm Indian. I've been cursed. It's just my body. There's nothing I can do about it. Try going out in the heat when you live in the Middle East and Thailand wearing jeans and long pants because you need to cover up. I suffered with self-image, yet I pursued, I persisted. I became a personal stylist. I travelled the world with my family. I would dress up and find a way to hide my body because I was so ashamed. It was something that I didn't know I had and I didn't know what to do about it. And in August 2021, as a, a month after I turned 50, I was at Pilates one day and I was doing one of the exercises. And the next morning when I woke up, I was in the shower and I looked down and I had these big pockets of fluid that had developed under my knees. And I thought, oh my God, something is seriously wrong. So I rushed to hospital as you do. I went to the emergency room and I was there for quite a while while they tried to diagnose me and tell me what had happened. Everyone did all the tests. They said, it's your heart, it's your kidney, it's your liver. Have you suffered stress recently? Yes, we've been through a number of years of stress, I said. They did all the tests and guess what? They came back negative. Nothing wrong physically in that sense. They said, go and have an ultrasound. And as I was at the ultrasound, they checked everything and they said, there's nothing wrong that we can see with your heart, your liver, your kidney or anything. The lady said to me as she was putting away her scope, she said, I'd suggest you go have a lymphatic massage. I think there's something wrong with your lymph nodes. I said, okay. So I did. At that point, you're helpless. You just do whatever people say. And I'm so lucky that I did because as I sat on the couch, and laid down, bearing my large legs onto the couch with this lady and she looked at me and I wasn't there one minute and she said, Shah, has anyone ever diagnosed you with lipedema? Now, when you hear the words diagnose and then a term you've never heard of before, your heart sinks and all of a sudden you start to think, what's wrong with me? Am I going to lose this life I've built and all these dreams I have to launch a TV show and travel the world? Because I didn't know what that meant. And she got on the phone straight away and rang a surgeon that she works with and I was booked in pretty much immediately. In the last 12 months, I've had two major surgeries on my legs and I wouldn't wish the pain and recovery on my worstest enemy. Yet I was so lucky and grateful because I'd hit stage three of this disease. Had it have gone to stage four, it would no longer be operable.
But here's what I was thinking as I was walking in for the second surgery, knowing how painful and difficult surgery one was. And here I was about to willingly walk in and do it all again, but worse, because it was all the backs. I started to think, what impact have I actually created in this world? What difference have I actually made? Yes, I've grown businesses and travelled the world with my family and created a beautiful life, but what impact, what footprint in the sand am I actually leaving behind? If I don't make it out of this surgery, will anyone remember me? And as I lay down on the bed, sunny side up, naked, for them to perform this surgery, as I started to close my eyes, I promised myself this one thing. If I make it through this and thrive, I'm going to start that TV show, The Girlfriend Hour, that I've been promising to do for 10 years. Whether I have funding or not, I'm doing it. I will sell anything to get that show up and running. And here's the other promise I made to myself. I'm going to find a 1,000 women by the year 2025 around the world, women and men, that want to create impact. And I'm going to gather them all together at Times Square in May 2024 and we're going to launch a book called Impact with every one of those people standing there with me, beside me, in front of me, behind me, who are here to make a difference in the world. And that's exactly what we are going to do because I did make it through and I am so lucky that I have the resources and the time and the team and the family and the support that got me through those very difficult times. So if you are watching this and you have struggled with something or you've gone through a difficult time, please, please get up one more time and do something to create impact because it doesn't matter how long you live, you're still here just for a minute. Whether today is my last day, tomorrow or 40 years from now, it's still going to go so quick. And when you can look back at your life, if you were to share your tombstone testimony, the last few paragraphs that are written on your tombstone, what would they be for you? What is that final thing and gift, that footprint that you want to leave for the rest of humanity? Make sure that you live your life to the fullest every day. Create impact. Bring joy to others. Find your tribe. Our movement at Feminescence is all about gathering these soulful women. Many of you've heard of them on our show. Everyday celebrities. Everyday men in business, women in business, human beings in business. We are all equal. However you define yourself, I welcome you to please ask yourself the question, what impact are you creating in your life? Thank you very much. Are you loving the Girlfriend Hour so far? We hope you've been inspired by the wonderful women you've seen sharing their stories. Do you have an inspiring story of your own to share? We're looking for magic just like yours. Be featured in Feminescence magazine and start your own exciting media journey. Join many other fabulous women who've been profiled in Feminescence magazine. Unlock access to an international audience, propel your career and expand your network. Make today the day you back yourself. What are you waiting for? Visit feminescence.com.au to find out more.